Hello everyone, welcome to another round of Daily CC. Today, for the final medal to obtain in CC10, the Shangshu Trials yet again in Yan. And E for the map. And uh, high buff for the enemies in, the, in this challenge here, which would be the only contingency level 3 challenge stimulus 3, giving the enemies 80% plus attack. For the rest of what I'm using, I use Contingency Level 2 Objective Metal 2, where the grindstones gain 100% HP and spawn double the wooden seals when they are defeated, as well as Low Efficiency 1, Trail Maintenance 1, and Last Line of Defense. And this is how I deal with the Contingency Levels for Risk 8. Um, here a little bit about my team. Uh, you can play around here a lot. These are just the characters I thought about would be helpful. Um, what I definitely can recommend here is Ling, like always. Fear Meta also helps a lot, and just in case, a fast Vanguard, a little bit of sustain, of course, and yeah, overall, many hitters like we have it's seen so often already. And this is how I tackled this stage. Okay, so you see the bottom side here, it is completely blocked and I start the P generation with Myrtle on top here. Myrtle first, going for a backpipe here. Directly placing a Skelter here to give some buffs. As a next, I go for... Uh, let me see, where is she? Ash. I'm using Ash here. Alright. Okay, and we continue with Fear Meta. And the next big one added is a contingency. I made it just in case. The next operator I'm deploying here is Blaze. If in any situation something should come through here, through these blocks, so she will block it. Alright. Ready to go. Then, followed by that, I go for Ling in the middle here, having Skelter revving up Fear Meta's HP bar again to give her her big trait. And one dragon spawns here, one last time giving a little bit of DP. Really Deploy a retreat, I mean, and I use Silver Ash here as a way to contain the enemies who are coming down here. Alright, and as you see, this is how I have my normal setup here. This is my normal setup, and the only trick comes when the nice blue dragons are coming out from their spawns. Yeah, you can't just let it easily run like this. And here we are. I retreat backpipe and I summon one other dragon. Activating the skill. Alright, it's been taken care of, that's no problem. Alright. And I'm just gonna place another one here, because I can. So, as you see, everything is easily being taken care of, no problem at all. Ling saves the day, as well as Skelter and Fiametta. These three here in the middle are the core of this tactic, you could say. Alright, we have the one knight, he gets killed, and uh, that's what we are aiming for. As I could be showing it now, activating the skill, no problem, just letting it... Go to it stuff. Yeah, and Blaze here doing massive work on all these uh, summons, and I use Silver Ash to deal further damage to them. Having still the P left here, let's just run it down. Awesome. And now you can retreat this dragon here, and we can go for the big dragon. All right. 
some sustaining. Even though it's not much, I know. Alright. Now it's just a little bit of travel. We need, you need to out the last him. And now we can go for Ethan. Alright, Dragon has been taken care of. Awesome. Yeah, this can burn. Oh, that's no problem. I'm just gonna throw in here, Dragon. Activating it. And yeah, the last one is coming back to Ethan. Oling. Very easy, of course, just with big operators, but the general idea is exactly as shown here. Yeah. I would say it is very doable. Um, you have a lot of unit placements. So that is definitely a viable option, I would say. And there we have it. Nice. That is the full metal set of CC10 Ash Ring. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> CC11, you could say. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the little video, the little idea I had for this setup. And yeah, I wish you a wonderful luck with hopefully your last CC stage to obtain your full metal set. Until the next day with another video or another stream. Bye bye.